Okay, good, good morning everyone. I will uh, crash the gavel um, and uh, bring to order the 65th meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Uh, you can tell something's a little different because I'm standing at the podium and I normally am sitting. And in a couple minutes you will see uh, why things are a little bit different, how we're opening up the morning. But before we get to that, I'm going to turn this over to Mark uh, to deal with some uh, routine business. Right. <coughs> so the first thing I'd like to do, and I'm not sure I'd characterize it as routine, is introduce a new council member, uh, Tony Monaco, who's the president of Tufts University, and uh, we're very grateful that uh, he's willing to uh, share some of his time, as we're grateful for all the rest of you. So welcome, Tony. Um, <clears throat> the liaisons, I'll introduce the, uh, the liaisons to the council, um, who many of whom are familiar to you because they've been here before, but not everyone. Joe Bachman from the American Society of Human Genetics, over here. Um, Ellen Girelli from the International Society of Nurses in Genetics is joining us via the webcast. Uh, James O'Leary from the Genetic Alliance. Um, <coughs> Rhonda Schoenberg uh, from the National Society of Genetic Counselors is also joining by webcast. And Mike Watson from the American College of Medical Genetics. There are two new staff members who I would like to introduce. Uh, one is Shavilla Goldner, who is a joined us as a senior program analyst. Shavilla, can you stand up? And uh, Jean Passamani, who is uh, joined us as a uh, as an advisor in uh, genomic medicine. A couple of guests who uh, I'd like to introduce. Um, from the American Society of Molecular Pathology, uh, Mary Williams and Melvin Lisson. And <clears throat> from Life Technologies Company, Jamie Rupert and Heather Verdo. And Francis Correa, and I can't really read your uh, association, International Medical News Group, is that right? And there are also uh, several um, additional guests uh, who um, I'm going to let Eric introduce on that in just a moment. So uh, just two new, two other things I need to do. One is to uh, get the uh, minutes for the um, February meeting uh, presented. Were they, were they distributed? Have you seen them? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, I didn't do them last, this time, so I'm sort of lost track of them. Uh, are there any comments, any corrections, additions to the minutes that anyone wants to make? If not, can I have a motion for approval? A second. All in favor? Anybody opposed? And then I, last thing is I'll just call your attention to the future meeting dates. We've, uh, on, on the agenda we've listed uh, the meeting dates for the next six council, next two years worth of council meetings. Um, if anybody uh, on the council uh, has uh, anything to tell us about that, please let uh, either me or, uh, or Comfort know. And with that, I will turn it over to Eric. Uh, 